DeMarco, 22, rock and roll guy from Montreal, Canada, writing songs and stuff like that. Yeah. Habits of mine. Um, I do this a lot. I don't know why. It's not even when I'm nervous. Sometimes when I get excited, it's like shake it up a little bit. I also have that like restless leg syndrome where if I'm sitting down my leg, we'll just shake. Or uh, I spit. That's a habit. That's a bad habit. Smoke. Dirty, nasty habit. Yeah, I think just like, uh, you know, greasy, like uh, rock, I guess. I don't know. Just, I'm just, just trying to write like, when you think of like a rock song, you think of like certain, you know, lyrics. Chicks, leather boots, leather jackets. Badass motorcycles, something like that, you know. Just funny, like, uh, you know, stereotypes or whatever, I guess. <laughs> the funniest instance playing that song, I mean, all those, like, rock and roll nightclub songs, or a lot of them, are like, I think I find them very funny, and a lot of other people find them funny and enjoy them as well. But when I'm playing them to people, especially like a whole room of people that have no idea who I am and don't know that I'm sort of joking. That's when I feel kind of weird playing them. But uh, it's still always kind of fun, you know, it's all right. <laughs> I just like the name. Mm. As a young child, I would say, uh, uh, what is it called? Nookie. Nookie by Limp Biscuit. Ba with the Ba, Kid Rock. When I was like eight, those were like the, first, the significant other and like American Badass or whatever it's called. I think those were the first two CDs I got. And, but like, they didn't really, I guess they like, that was like my intro to music, but I didn't really enjoy the music, it was just kind of like, my friends were like, check it out man, this CD has the middle finger on it, and I was like, oh sweet. But uh, as far as like real, I think I really started getting into music when I started listening to the Beatles, when I was in junior high school or something, kind of a late start, but. Once again, thank you for coming out on Tuesday. This could be a school night, or like, work, tomorrow night, or like, fuck, so much shit. Could be happening tomorrow night. Everyone only works night shifts, right? <laughs> I do this with my hair a lot. It makes me look like uh, Big Wolf on Campus, if you've ever seen that show. It's pretty stupid. I want you to be here. <laughs> Um, I think it's probably, the, well, at this point it's kind of like second nature, I think, doing the, the goofy shit on stage, but it, it's def I think it definitely makes it a lot easier to be goofy on stage and be really serious. I don't know, some, some people may find it hard, but um, I think it's like, a, it started as like a nervous thing, but now I just have a lot of fun doing it and I feel really comfortable, so I think that's how it rolls nowadays. Um, the best is like meeting really nice people. And it's really nice when you go to a city and people are like, that was great, man. Like, you're like in somewhere that you never really thought you'd be in your life. And you're like, wow, that's really cool that someone 
is down with the stuff, like this far away from where I live, or like gives a fuck to come out or something. That's really great. Um, yeah, just meeting people and stuff like that. I'd say the worst part is probably just like eating shit all day long, every day, like fast food and like other shit. That sucks. Uh, I actually, a lot of people would say sitting in the car sucks. I actually really like driving all day. It's very easy, my, easing on the mind or whatever. It's nice. Um, it's also very hard on the body getting drunk every day. It's very t difficult. But you get used to it, I think, so. Tour is pretty good, sort of bad. It's great.